Hi everyone, Ian from DIY Home Gardening. So um, this afternoon I'm starting, well I'm going to get the uh, uh, concealed bath panel panel done, if that's a phrase. Basically, the bit that fills that in. So um, yeah, let's turn the camera around and have a little look. Right, so as you can see, uh, bath's all in, everything's tiled, uh, side panel, uh, built side panel, that's all tiled. But you do need to have an access point for the inevitable, which is either you need to change the tap or the drain blocks or something like that. So basically making a um, concealed access panel to fill that in. So I've, um, I've got a, uh, a leftover tile or you know, three quarters of a tile there. So that will quite comfortably fit into that gap. And so I need something to mount that on. So what I'm planning to do is I'll mount that with adhesive onto some more of this sponge backer board. Um, don't worry about that. That's, um, that's not a leak. That's just markings on the plaster. Um, so mount it on some sponge backer board, which will in turn be mounted onto this ply. So to start with, uh, just taking the measurements for that opening um, and transferring those, open, that, those measurements onto the ply. So then I can cut out a uh, template as such, which will act as a, a door. Um, want to have it literally a couple of millimetres smaller than what that hole is just to allow it to move in and out. So um, yeah, that's the first job is to transpose the measurements onto here and then cut this board down to size. So that's the board marked up. It's this section that I want to keep. Obviously this lot here is going to be the way. So uh, let me get that cut. So I've got a piece of boarding cut. Just check that it fits, which I'm pretty confident it will do. Oh, well, always knew that was going to happen, didn't we? Um, because there's nothing to support it. So next stage is to get your tile backer board and fix that onto there so it's the same size. Once we've done that, we can address this, the slight problem, well, it's not the problem, of um, there being no support. So let's get the back of board cut and put on. Let me just go and grab that. Right, so we know that that's the right size. And so what I'm going to do is I'll fix the tile back of board directly onto that. Um, and the easiest way of making sure that it's going to be the right dimensions is uh, rather than messing around too much, we have it laid out roughly, screw it all down, so, you know, nice, nice and tight, nice and secure, because don't forget that's got to hold the weight of a tile on it. So we can fix all those bits down and then I will flip it over and cut essentially along the, uh, the edge of the timber that we already have. So then that way you'll get something that's perfectly the same size. If you've got any um, odd, stray bits after that which you shouldn't have just you'll be able to run along with a stanley knife and tidy that up so let's get some screws in okay so the backing board is onto the um ply all screwed on and then i've just used the grinder to grind down the screw heads that were sticking through not the heads the spiky bits of the screw that were sticking through so um, just have a double check, there's no reason why it won't fit, but just have a double check that it still fits, which it does. So, um, in order to stop it falling back, we're going to have to put a couple of internal um, braces or stays, whatever you want to call them. Um, for this purpose, I'm going to do one at the bottom, one at the top, just because it gives me the most amount of space to play with in terms of being able to get my hand in there and screw. Um, going from side to side makes it that much tighter. 
So um, where to position this bit of timber? So what you're gonna to have to do is measure total depth of that plus the depth of the tile that'll be sitting on it plus about five millimeters to allow for your adhesive. So that is a nine millimeter thickness tile so plus the five mil, so that gives us 14 millimeters anyway. Um, let's have a measure on this. Right, so that's 20 mil, so 34 millimeters um, back is where the stay's got to go. So we literally position on, and then you can do your marking as to where your 34, 35 mil is, something like that. Um, and then uh, cut the bit of wood twice, top, and, well, bottom and top, top and bottom, whatever you want to call it. And um, we can get those positioned in place. Having got the two bits of wood cut, uh, the idea now is to try and fix them in place. What I would suggest, because you're going to be really tight on space, is to pre-drill them. And again, to make it easier, once you've pre-drilled, fix the top one in first. Because that will give you the most amount of, uh, well, that's going to be the fit list. And then you'll be able to have easier access to that one. So that's the bottom and the top stay both put in place. Uh, I've put a screw in the panel just as a temporary thing, just so I can check that it all fits in nicely, which it does. And now for the next part, which I haven't revealed until now, but basically I'm intending to use these. Now these are little pop out brackets or push push fittings um, so you literally screw this metal section onto the backboard this bit will this main body will fit onto there and then when you push the panel in it will then pop out so uh, in and out to secure it so <clears throat> yeah need to fix those so that it's got a slight give and uh, hopefully that will work. Let's see. So having measured across the distance there, I've put in a central line um, which is the middle and then the push catch I've put right to the back <clears throat> as you can see which is level on the line and just sort of marked so it is in the middle of the holes. Um, I'm going to drill those holes and then lightly screw it in place. That way, if I need to move the catch forward or backwards, there is plenty of scope to do that. So do the bottom one and do the top one also, and then we can see where we're at. Worth pointing out or worth having a look at the fact that um, Space is getting tighter, like I said to you at the beginning, the other reason I was going top and bottom was because it afforded me the most amount of space to get tools into. Uh, and having gone with that route, I'm now in the position where even on the compact, just literally having a bit inside the drill, it's um, not got enough space. So having secured this top one in place, now going to have to use the manual screwdriver to get this bottom one in place. But yeah, it, it does highlight the fact that you've got to be mindful of the space that you've afforded yourself and uh, obviously the tools to hand. So let's get this second one in. Right, so as you can see, I've got top and bottom in place now. Um, I haven't obviously done anything about those. So those little magnetic fixings, they got to go onto this panel, but to start with, just wanna check that obviously it fits, which it does. And wanna make sure it gives me plenty of space that still gonna be able to get some adhesive on and the tile in place. And more importantly, whether it actually springs, which it kind of does. I think that's 
Oh uh, yeah, it does work. So that's more to do with, I think, positioning of those bits. But yeah, um, so far so good. So it does work. Oh, just got to make sure now that uh, I can essentially transfer the positioning of these onto the back of that. So that's going to take some doing. Um, I think the obvious thing to do is measure across, mark on the halfway points, and then begin by then measuring from, well, bottom upwards and then bottom upwards. And that should give me a fairly good um, representation of where they're going to go. Uh, failing that, could do the old, old way. Again, do your measurement across, put some uh, paints, just, you know, similar like poster paint, put some poster paint on these. And then when you push it in place, you'll see where the uh, paint transfers onto the back here. And then that will give you your um, markings. So uh, line followed by paint, I think is the order of the, the day. Right, so what I've done is I've measured across the top and the bottom, put the middle line, so that is there. Got some of a children's paint, just on a bit there. So very crudely, going to just mark it onto here. So before you do it, just make sure that your magnet sections or your fixings are going to be roughly in place or where they need to be, I should say, not roughly. So we'll just colour those up. Plenty of paint on there. Okay, so then I've got some spacers which were set out, which again just enables me to get the, uh, the spacing of the, essentially the door correct, which will elevate it enough just to give us that bit of clearance ready for when we come to do the tiling. And try and maintain that the doorway section is, as you uh, have kind of built it all along. So we just get it roughly lined up so it's square and push. And then carefully take it off. There we are, look at that. So then that gives us our points, which we could either take, take that as being uh, for granted as to exactly where it's got to be, but I think what I'll do is I'll just take these off, position them back, and then you know exactly how that needs to be for uh, doing your screw point. So that's what we're gonna do next. So position it, mark it, and screw these discs onto that panel. Right, so that's the two fixings fixed. Don't worry about the bit of paint that's on them. Just pop the uh, screw back in and then see how that fits. There we are, so the fittings are on. Let me just pop the screw back in and see how it looks. All right, so, there we are. So that's stuck in place nicely, which is good. Bit of wiggle. There we are, there we are. so it pops. Good. So uh, now we know it worked, the hardest bit's going to be to, um, well not hardest bit, but stick the tile on it. Once the tile's on, you have to offer it back and, uh, well after it's set, offer it back and then do some fine tuning on positioning of those um, fasteners. Just uh, measured and cut this tile that's going to fit over on the panel and when it goes in, obviously um, it's going straight, but you're going to have to put it onto the adhesive and then use the 
spacers to make sure it is stuck onto the panel with equal spacing around, particularly uh, making sure that the bottom is uh, lifted off. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's essentially it. So um, next stage is mixing the adhesive and getting it stuck on. So adhesive applied onto the boarding. Now I've got to do the adhesive onto the tile and then we'll get it on and spaced and packed out. Okay, so that panel's in, or well, the tile's on, I won't lie, it has taken some fiddling around with to get it uh, pushed in, level, tight, all the rest of it, but um, that's now set up so that can dry off and then uh, it's then really up to you as to how you want to finish it off. Um, I'm deciding as well, contemplating whether to put a uh, discreet um, little handle in the middle. I don't know, don't know whether to do that. Um, what I will do is around the, the edges of it, rather than um, using the normal uh, grout, I'll probably um, just do a thin, um, thin line of silicon and then that way that uh, panel will come out nice and easy. But anyway, that is uh, me making the concealed panel for the bath. So an end to another video. Um, quite a, well, quite an enjoyable yet stressful towards the end type of project. But, um, you know, hopefully you agree that actually that works pretty well. and. Uh, Certainly having the um, spring uh, magnets um, should work really well. And uh, well, they do work well, but uh, yeah, it'd certainly make it much easier and um, simpler to get access to the bath panel. But anyway, uh, what I would say is if you've got any messages um, or questions about the project, then uh, please send them over to me. I'll do my best to try and answer them for you. If you like what I'm doing, then please subscribe to the channel. It's always good to have more people coming on board. Don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on the future videos I'm doing. And um, I normally say it, but uh, you know, if you can have fun tiling and whatnot, then do. If not, then get yourself in the garden and uh, find some plants to play around with and uh, have some fun outside. But till next time, bye for now.